that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? You know, in the world of the Transformers, uh, we had the uh, you know the original classic series. We had the '86 movie. Uh-huh. We had the Michael Bayism stuff. But you know what? The people at Hasbro said we can be sexier and bloodier. <laughs> Hell yeah! And so we've got Transformers One yes. coming now. They dropped the trailer online to I I got to admit some confusion over the fact that it was it was pretty divided. There are a lot of people who didn't like the trailer. I'm a little confused by that because I actually thought it was quite good. But I have to admit, I had the advantage of seeing more footage of it because they showed us a big presentation of Transformers 1 at CinemaCon. And I got to tell you, even though I had my doubts, and I still have a sore spot on my ass from that 1986 movie that I still have not forgiven Hasbro for, I got to admit, I thought it looked pretty damn good. And now, just because it looked good in a preview doesn't mean it's going to be good. Well, they believe in this movie so much, they decided to take it to the toughest audience you can put it in front of. <laughs> the French. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sacre le bleu. <laughs> and they're going to put in, they put in front, they went to the uh, Annecy Film Festival, Animation Film Festival. It's yeah. a prestigious oh. film festival. Yeah. They're taking it there, and they decided to debut it. And the film was met with, according to the Hollywood Reporter in the headline, laughs and cheers and a standing ovation uh, at the end of it. This comes to us from the Hollywood Reporter who wrote the following. Transformers 1 helped get things rolling Monday as the An- uh, Annecy Animation Festival goes full tilt. Director Josh Cooley and Paramount Animation President Ramsey Nadio addressed the crowd before showing a not-quite-finished version of the film in Annecy, French. The animated pr- uh, project star a voice cast who were not at the screening it includes Chris Hemsworth, Brian Tyree Henry, Scarlett Johansson, Kegel Michael Key, Steve Buscemi, Lawrence Fishburne, and John Hamm. I'm very excited, Cooley told the audience while introducing the movie that hits theaters on September 20th. So much talent and nostalgic love has gone into this movie. Cooley went on to thank the film's team for the of the greatest animators and CG artists in the world and gave a shout out to Industrial Light and Magic for their work on the feature he added to the crowd. I want to thank you all for being audience one. It then goes on to talk about how it got a standing ovation, big cheers throughout, big laughs at Keegan-Michael Key, and all this kind of stuff. All right. What does this leave us with? Now, you guys remember that at CinemaCon a few years ago, they showed us the first 30 minutes of Lightyear. And, and we loved it. I mean, we came out of that first 30 minutes saying, oh my God, God. I even said, I even said, coming out of that first 30 minutes, guys, Lightyear is going to become the fifth animated film in history to be nominated for Best Picture of the Academy Awards. That's how good the first 30 minutes were. And then I went to go see the, fir- the full film. <laughs> wah, wah. You like the monkey and uh, that monkey meme and... and uh... Uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> woo, started out strong and went right downhill. And it ended up, Lightyear ended up being a pretty disappointing movie. So I, I'm totally prepared that when I see something at CinemaCon that looks really great, like a presentation for Transformers 1, that, okay, the presentation was great. Maybe the uh, movie won't be so hard. Well, they decide to take this movie and put it in front of the world's forefront animation people at a prestigious animation film festival in France. That's how much confidence they had in this movie. And they didn't fart in their general direction. And they did not fart in this general And, and they didn't have to make it sexier or bloodier. Yeah, it was already there. It was already there. So look, they had the guts to take it there, which tells me, number one, they had a lot of confidence in it. Because listen, they know that this Transformers 1 movie it's it's divided. People are divided about whether or not they believe in it or not, right? Mm-hmm. And for you to take it to a festival like that, if you get people walking out, which French audiences are known to do, or if you get people complaining about it, you've sunk your movie before it ever comes out. Like if the word coming out of Annecy was like like crap, they're done before they even get started. So they had the guts. They believed in it. They took it there, and they say they got a lot of cheers, a lot of standing ovations, and 
I mean, listen, it just makes me excited for it because I really liked what I saw. Now, I can't personally attest that the whole movie's great. I haven't seen it. But I got to tell you guys, I, I believe in what I'm seeing here. I mean, last year, um, Mutant Mayhem, the Turtles movie, yeah. was shown in Annecy, and it it got a standing ovation, too. And we ended up loving that movie. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping the same thing happens with this Transformers one. I think Mutant Mayhem was divided as well between hardcore Turtle fans, like the ones that like the adult violent turtles or just like the ones we've seen on tv on the tv animated series yeah it was like none of those really it was like it's some kind of a weird mix yeah so yeah. there was there was a some divide there too i i think with this transformers one movie it's jarring to see um what something about them that we're not used to yeah it's yeah. different yeah yeah 100%. so i yeah i think if 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 there's even They're a more little emotive, bit of transformers more love and you you got to give this movie at least a chance. Walk out of the movie if you hate it. You know what, honestly? But I mean, I mean don't 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 sour anyone else who's no, looking forward to it. No. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not my Transformers. I would love to see a ragged cracked cracked uh, chest Megatron battling uh Optimus I in, still in this, function in, in this sort of animation that would look so cool just because we've never had it that way. Yeah. But if this is what they're giving us and Paramount put this at the forefront of their CinemaCon presentation. Yes, they did. Yeah, they really made if, it their MVP. I, 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 I'm going to ride this this train with them. So we'll see what happens when it comes out. I, this is good news. It's not bad news at all. I mean, no, uh, you in know, the world so. of this is definitely positive stuff. I really so. didn't think about it the way you, you actually kind of sold me on checking it out now, even though everything you said should have been like a like a no duh, right? But. I really didn't think about it being as engaging as like Mutant Mayhem or Spider-Verse. So if the artwork is, I mean, you guys have seen some of it. So if the artwork and the action isn't engaging like that, then actually I am kind of excited to see it. So I changed my stance on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope it's good. Yeah. I hope it's good. Hope. I like what I've seen so far. Clearly the, the animators of the world clearly liked it. So... Let's see, maybe we can have a little bit more faith in it. Hey guys, we wanna take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, The Perfect Gene. Guys, are you tired of the rough and rigid jeans crushing your boys? Well, today's sponsor, The Perfect Gene, finally solved all of your denim difficulties. They make great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants. The secret, a special denim fabric that is super soft and has the perfect amount of stretch so you can squat, do yoga, or just sit around all day without ever having to take them off. I'm gonna admit I was a little bit skeptical because because to me, jeans have always been jeans. They're practical, but not always the most comfortable. But I'm telling you guys, it's not an exaggeration. Once I put on these jeans, the perfect jean redefined what jeans can be to me. They're the perfect fit, they stretch, they breathe, and again, they're just insanely comfortable. So guys, it's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc slash campia15. Our listeners get 15% off your first order plus free shipping. Free returns and free exchanges when you use code campia 15 at checkout. Again, that's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc slash campia15 and use the code campia15. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support the John Campus Show and tell them we sent you. Guys, question is for you. What do you think? Uh, to be honest here, are you one of these people that are like, no, this isn't the Transformer I grew up with. I have no interest in this movie. That's fair. That's fair. Are you kind of curious about it? Does hearing something like this maybe raise your expectations a little bit? Maybe even is still just cautious optimism. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.